Yeah, I think Shelly, we can go ahead. Uh, we are seeing the yes coming from participants. Yes, friends. Sure. Today, with an immense pleasure, I welcome uh, Mr. Lalit Kumar ji. Uh, it's an honor for us to see you as a speaker to deliver a special lecture on uh, product uh, bakery instruments. Uh, Lalit Kumar sir presently hold a position of Deputy General Manager at Bone Group of Industries. He completed his B.Tech in Food Technology from Krukshetra University and his MBA in Operations Management from SPMU, SMU. Mr. Kumar has worked with various departments such as Production, Quality, uh, New Product Development, Procurement, Holding Top, Nestle Industries, Mondelage International, and Jagjit Industries Limited. He is uh, an expert. Uh, he has an expertise in food safety certification. He has played a pivotal role in setting up more than 20 large-scale food factories. Additionally, Mr. Kumar expertise extends to assisting various industry in acquiring uh, FSSA li uh, license, a PEDA license organic food certification, procurement, food product label preparation, new product launching, and other licensing. He has undertaken several projects aimed at reducing uh, cost, minimizing wastage, and improvement plant efficiency. His unwavering commitment to the field of food technology make him an invaluable asset to the food industry. Sir, next over to you. Uh, thank you, Shelly. Uh, Thank you, thanks sir. to everyone for joining this session. Uh, uh, my uh, slide is visible to all? Yes, sir, it's visible. Okay, uh, let's start now. Now, today I am presenting the baking tools and equipments. Uh, I just fixed the small pictures of small industries. I think the team members are from small industries. And uh, if, uh, if anyone have any question about large machineries and large equipment, uh, he or she can ask directly to me. So let's start. Uh, bakery industry uh, is basically we know that it comes from uh, that traditionally comes from Europe. Then uh, now all Indians breakfast is mostly related to bread and bakery products, bread biscuits, cookies, etc. So. Uh, in baking industry, most of uh, equipments are small. Uh, we can uh, discuss about hand tools and small equipments for me for measuring ingredients and temperature, for mixing batters and dough, for handling dough and batter, for panning, baking and cooling. In baking bakery equipments, we discuss about types of mixers, breads, and dough handling equipment, types of oven, other equipments. Mm. Now we will discuss hand tools and small equipments. Uh, these are small uh, uh, pictures of uh, some hand tools. Uh, digital wing scales, liquid measuring cups, dry measuring cups. Okay, the wing scale. All everyone know about scale, but the main thing we we need to focus in case of wing scale is calibration. Uh, as per uh, legal methodology, the uh, wing scale should be uh, approved by legal methodology department, but we have to do calibration and validation on daily basis. Before weighing any ingredient, we should ensure that we calibrate our equipment with any standard load cell or loads us. Uh, we can say that uh, we are standard weight basically. We are uh, having a, a different uh, terms in uh, industry. So uh, there is a, also a very small bubble which should be in center. So wing scale is uh, playing an important role in bakery industry because there is minor change in the yeast quantity, preservative quantity, uh, which is impacting a lot during baking and proofing stage. Okay. Liquid measuring cups is basically we are using to add oils, some waters, etc. 
So dry measuring cups are basically used for the uh, addition of uh, small ingredients like any uh, sodium bicarbonate etc. So uh, these are also measuring spoon thermometer and oven uh, thermometer. Uh, the, you see there is a very uh, small handy thermometer in center, center, center picture. Uh, this, uh, this thermometer is used for the uh, measuring the temperature after the dough preparation or sometimes measure the temperature of uh, our oil. This is a very handy tool and because yeah, in North India there is summer and there is winter which is impacting a lot on the quality of the finished product. So it is very important for industry, every operator who is working in uh, mixing section having uh, this handy thermometer and this handy thermometer is calibrated on daily basis. Okay. And uh, next one is oven thermometer. It's a, uh, basically a uh, gauge which is showing the temperature, sometimes pressure uh, in the oven. Because uh, you all very well know that uh, if there is any drop of uh, temperature or any drop of pressure in the oven, then a product uh, got underbaked or overbaked. Okay. And this is the mixing balls and hand wired whipped and after the floor sieve and shifters, then flat batter pendle, wire chips and pilot or hook. These are some spatulas. A spatula is also very important because in large industries what we are doing, we are making batches of 100 kg and 150 kg batches. Uh, in, a, in a large bowl then during we are uh, dumping this dough into mixing hopper then it's uh, not easy to uh, remove the dough from uh, our bowl then we are using the spatula as a scraper uh, this is uh, first uh, you can see that in first picture this is a bowl scraper this is also used uh, to scrap the uh, remaining parts of dough and uh, bench scraper is also used for uh, scrapping the bench in manual processes. The you know, small uh, uh, pastry bags and tips are used in small in, uh, small bakery industries or uh, small uh, shops. Uh, it's having different types of noise. Pastry pressure is also there. I, I did not discuss more about these things. These are rolling pins and uh, Ripped rolling pins and cross on cut, roller cutters. These are these these are only basic uh, equipment which are used in, in your corner side shop or anything else. Small bakeries are having these types of uh, equipment. Sheet pan, loaf pan, uh, muffin and cup pans are there. Round cake and pans different. Uh, and these pans are having different wax to prepare this uh, different types of shape for cakes and pastry etc. Okay, uh, these are some bakel span, mobile cooling racks, tabletop cooling racks. Now we will uh, come to uh, bakery equipments. Uh, you see the first picture. This is basically a spiral mixture. And in large industry, the size of one batch is uh, in between 100 to 150 kg and the time taken for mixing this the one batch in this bowl is approximately uh, between 10, uh, 20, 12 to 15 minutes okay and the rpm uh, rotation per minute is very important for for the mixing and dough temperature is also very important for mixing what happened uh, in North India when we are mixing uh, the dough and then uh, the temperature of water is very high, dough temp uh, flour temperature is very high and oil temperature is very high. Then we are adding ice, ice into dough to lower down the temperature. The ideal temperature we are uh, having for dough is approximately 24 degrees Celsius. To 
because in, there is lots of fluctuation in North India. Uh, there is lots of temperature fluctuation. In winter season, the temperatures go, on, go down and it's near uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And when we talk about in uh, summer season, then it's, a, it's, a, it's very difficult to maintain the temperature. Uh, then uh, what we are doing, uh, we are uh, uh, having a dedicated storage for facility for uh, flour. The flour store in a room where uh, there is a prox 25 to 50 air changes during uh, one hour so that the temperature of flour uh, will remain uh, lower side and we are sometimes we are having uh, double jacketed uh, palm oil in oil or oil uh, tankers so that we can maintain the uh, lower temperature and uh, after that uh, we are adding ice into these bowls to get the desired dough uh, what, what happened uh, uh, the another challenge when we are mixing in uh, uh, any batch in the, this types of mixer what happened the temperature of yeast is also a very very important thing because we are storing temperature below 5 degrees celsius and uh, when yeast is prepared in their factories from their original original manufacturer the, we need to maintain the cold chain during whole transportation till the preparation of batch if the temperature of each storage room temperature goes up then what will happen the uh, activity of yeast started near about after, started after 5 degrees celsius then the activity of uh, yeast gets started and the yeast start eating the other yeast because they need food but there is no need there is no food that time present in the yeast then the quality of yeast is uh, getting down so then what will happen if the temperature of yeast goes uh, above the five degrees celsius then we are preparing batch in this mixture then our uh, dough or loaf of any bread is uh, not able to prove properly the volume rise is not uh, not as per our requirement then we have to add more yeast the the you see that in some time when there is summer season what happened the uh, quantity of yeast during production we are using become Two to three times since against the winter season. It's just because of one thing. Uh, in winter, uh, so in, sorry, in summer season, what happened? We start dosing the preservatives to improve the shelf life of bread. Because in winter season, there is a, we we lower down the dosing of preservative so that because the environment in winter season in north india is favorable for us so that bread got bread not got uh, spoiled in seven days and when the dose of preservative goes down it's directly impacting the yeast the directly the doses of yeast also go down okay then in uh, in winter season Every bread industry guys are happy because their preservative doses go down, their uh, yeast doses go down, and they are not getting uh, consumer complaints related to the uh, our product quality. Okay, and these types of mixers are having RPM between uh, you can say that is 30 to 50. Uh, RPM per per minute. RPM directly depends upon the what what is the size of the batch you are using. This is the horizontal mixer basically. This mixer is basically used in biscuit and bread industry, and this mixer is directly uh, in contact with the line. 
the batch is prepared automatically all everything like flour palm oil sugar and uh, other minor ingredients which is required as per recipes are uh, coming in this mixture by the system and by logics we can say that we have a SCADA system in our uh, factories and uh, the every ingredient which is we have to just tip the flour into silo we have to store the oil into silo that as per recipe every ingredient added into this mixture directly and as and after the mixing time then this uh, mixture directly empty uh, the, the hopper into the hopper having uh, installed on the direct uh, lines of biscuit and bread industry okay these types of mixtures are very economical for the bread and bakery industry because they are directly installed on the line and uh, the previous mixture this these types of mixture we have to pull out from the this mixer and then we have to dump on another line this is this is a manual process but this types of mixture horizontal mixer are directly placed on the line the, the challenge uh, in the horizontal mixer we are facing uh, is very less as compared to the manual mixer which are spiral mixer and twin hand and stand mixer okay and this is the basically uh, sheeter door holder and sheeter machine these machines are basically used for the sheeting of any dough like pizza base some croissants recipes <coughs> Also, we are uh, using this sheet after the uh, preparation of dough in a spiral or a horizontal mixer. This is just a this is just a uh, this is a very manual process. I but uh, sometimes there are lots of uh, industries having the automatic plant. When in biscuit industries there are crackers which are uh, having the uh, automatic online sheeters then the thickness of the sheet is decided automatically this sheet is basically using small scale industries but uh, another large sheeters are used for the large industries where the uh, capacity of uh, per day is 35 ton per day for biscuit crackers okay and uh, this is door divider what happened when we put the dough into hopper then dough cutting is started and then after dough cutting uh, the dough we have to make a one round ball that this machine is used for the round balling this is basically dough divider these are uh, basically proofer or uh, proofer box uh, for proofing in, uh, in proofing what happened when we prepare a batch and uh, prepare lobs and then put into proofer there is a temperature and humidity required for proofer to raise the dough what in, in this uh, case what happened uh, sugar is <coughs> sorry he started uh, the consuming the sugar and then uh, releasing the gas in such cases the volume of the uh, dough goes up and uh, it basically is called proofing this is for small industries, but in uh, large scale industries, the proofers are basically online. There are no manual proofer. Temperature and uh, humidity is got set in, TV, in online, and uh, then uh, next step will be uh, baking in online online uh, uh, machine. These these are basically you know very well. These are the uh, ovens which are used in very basic industries, but uh, in uh, uh, automatic line but we are having the ovens are basically uh, very large types of ovens and uh, uh, due to uh, privacy of the company uh, I'm not able to fix the pictures of these types of oven but if anyone want to visit our plants for bakery for biscuits and bread uh, definitely definitely he or she will call me and I will arrange a visit uh, but we are having a capacity of uh, 1.2 million slopes per day for uh, 
bread and uh, we are uh, exporting near about 50 to 60 containers per month to other countries and having capacity of uh, we are producing approximately 3000 ton biscuit per month okay and uh, these are uh, conventional ovens you all uh, already very well know that these these are basically rack oven whenever we are having some small batches batches some like uh, some type low with low volume products like pizza uh, burger buns croissants small cookies these all varieties are prepared in this types of uh, tray oven rack oven we are saying this is rack oven is the uh, right word for this and what happened in this oven the trolley you see in this uh, uh, oven is directly placed in this oven now lots of small industries are also start buying these types of oven there in their shop they are installing this oven this is very convenient oven and easy to use oven this is this oven basically worked on both uh, diesel also gases also and electricity also uh, this this uh, this is basically a uh, oven which is placed online and this is automatic and uh, there is no manual process this is basically basically a idea you can uh, you can I think that this is types of ovens, online ovens used in the industry for large volume. These are other equipment, refrigerators used for industries to keeping the ingredients like yeast and other ingredients. And this is chiller basically used for uh, storage of ingredients. High pressure steam oven. <laughs> this is the automatic bread slicer. What happened in these types of slicer when we are having a large volume? These automatic slicers are uh, cutting the breads on very large scale. Thus, we can decide the thickness of slice in every uh, every time and what different types of breads. Uh, this is all about my presentation. Uh, I does not include everything on uh, this my presentation. I just want to discuss with you personally what are your questions, what do you want to know from me. Okay, if you have any questions, anyone want to discuss anything, I am now free to discuss. Uh, you can ask me, please. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. I'm audible now. Yes, sir. You are audible. Uh, anyone have any questions, please ask. And uh, I'm open for discussion, any type of discussion. I does not include more things in my presentation. Uh, hello, uh, sir. Uh, uh, I want to ask one question. Uh, there is uh, yes. uh, equipment which is used for the small scale. Actually, I have visited so many sites, but uh, I don't get any kind of equipment that is related to the bakery that is not for a laboratory purpose. All are very big and uh, used for the industrial purpose. Do you have any idea uh, they can provide a small scale bakery equipment? What, what, how much capacity you are having or what, what are your plan? Please let me know. Then I will suggest you. It's just for the laboratory demonstration for the student or the to develop a different course curriculum. Okay. Uh, my presentation is visible to for you. Yeah, yeah, it is visible. Uh, this is this is the wing scale. Okay. This wing scale uh, you can buy from any industry. It it will cost near about four to five thousand. Okay. Bakers is also available for students, and these measuring cups are available for for you at very low sorry, price. Sorry to interrupt you. Uh, I want to specify the uh, a slice cutter, dough molder, okay. and uh, that is used for the uh, bread and biscuits, cookies. Yes, yes, yes. you can are. I, can okay. I help you, sir? Uh, the, yes, yes, please. Uh, the, the, 
मैडम आज क्वेश्चन अबाउट द लैबोरेटरी पर्पज ओनली फॉर द शोइंग टू द स्टूडेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर साइंस और होम साइंस स्टूडेंट्स आई थिंक फॉर दैट वन यू कैन परचेज दिस स्मॉल स्मॉल इक्विपमेंट एंड दैट कैन बी अकोमोडेट विद इन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन टैक् स्मॉल स्केल इंडस्ट्री लाइफ Oh. we can we can do one thing we can do one thing yeah. after this presentation uh we can directly in contact with you okay mm -hmm. i will procure and suggest the uh, equipments to show the students and how where from where you can get got the this equipment i will share all links and contact details with you okay sir okay it's, it's it's right perfect for you madam madam needs that information for laboratory use Okay. Okay. No issue. I I can share details. Uh, I think Shelly also have my mail ID, my official mail ID. You can share your mail and uh, mail uh, one mail to me and share your requirements, which type of equipment you need. Then I will directly pro for procure for you. Sure, sir. Okay. I will also uh, text your email ID in uh, chat box. Yes, sure, sir. Uh. sir i think uh, there are few small uh, uh, digital humidity humidity sensors used nowadays because as we are aware that it is very crucial to know the humidity level inside the oven so to read yes. out humidity requirement in ovens proofers dryers cooling tunnels um, it is uh, very much necessary for uh, uh, good quality for good quality of higher quality longer lasting bread so uh, i think these kind of things you can explain to our uh, um, uh, master would be master trainers wire cut machines okay okay so uh, what happened uh, we are having a large uh, size of uh, humidifier and proofer so what we are doing uh, it's very uh, proofer and oven is very sensitive for baking industry so what we are doing we are having uh, different types of uh, humidity and temperature measurement devices but, right. but uh, uh, these are these, these are very handy and what we are doing we are just uh, uh, we buy from testo and we just put into our uh, keep in our hand and then enter into proofer our proofer size is very big you uh, uh, maybe there will 150 or 200 uh, uh, team members can stay in our proofer so we stay there for some times then the we record the readings what is the temperature and humidity and second thing uh, there is all uh, also a one another equipment from testo you can record the temperature and humidity for 8 hours for 4 hours as per as per your requirements but what we did we just take the small equipments very handy equipment its size is nearby 15 cm then we placed into proofer uh, and on the this equipment then we came out from proofer then after 4 hours we will take this uh, device from uh, uh, our proofer then uh, directly plug into our pc and uh, there is a graph of temperature and humidity with time you can directly uh, check at uh, 4:30 pm this this is humidity and this is the temperature okay and uh, for for wire cut cookies wire cut cookie okay. sorry For wire cut cookies, uh, basically wire cut cookies uh, now getting in, uh, a lots of demand in the market. So, if uh, wire cut cookies uh, start machine started from the approx five uh, lakh to it goes to approx eighty eight ninety lakh. Yes, sir. Uh, actually, wire cut cookies. Any specific cookies, thing you uh, want to? Well, new level of speed and consistency in quality so hello i am for wire, for wire cut cookies or bakery wire cut machines for biscuit production 
इट इज मतलब आई थिंक कि इट्स न्यू लेवल ऑफ स्पीड एंड फॉर मेंटेनिंग कंसिस्टेंसी इन द प्रोडक्शन यस यस नाउ द मशीन्स आर गेटिंग वेरी फास्ट वी आर हैविंग फाइव लाइंस ऑफ बिस्किट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग बिस्किट एंड शीट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एंड वी आर प्रोड्यूसिंग अप्रोक्स 4000 टन बिस्किट पर मंथ and we are exporting uh, near about uh, 50 to 60 containers to different countries per month so what happened uh, when we need consistency in product we need to avoid the batch preparations batch preparation in terms of we can say we need to uh, avoid the everything got manual in uh, in the maximum biscuit and bread industry we are just having the dough preparation manually after that total process is uh, total process is automatic in in automatic process what we have to maintain we have to maintain time temperature time of oven temperature of oven and uh, cooling time everything is maintained online so if you are one step got hampered then the next step also got hampered when you are thinking about you need to maintain the quality and consistency in different products what happen if i prepare a dough from one bowl and another dough from one bowl then if there is a and we go, we got delay by 5 to 10 minutes our dough is prepared and ready to dump then the 5 and 10 minutes the residence time of dough can also create a issues in weight variation so weight variation is directly linked with the consistency when when we are uh, coming to packing lines packing lines are in running on high speeds uh, one machine is packing brox 1 150 120 packs per minutes so to maintain the consistency we need to maintain the whole line from starting to reception of the uh, our raw material to dispatch of the raw material because everything is on online and aligned with each other you see that uh, there is lots of pressure in industry to release the raw material to release the raw material there is this, why this pressure this pressure on every quality person to release the raw material is that sometime what happen if quality team is not able to release the ingredients on time and the now totally all companies are running on tpm on a, a <clears throat> zero wastage and other things then what happen the line got disturbed when line got disturbed then the the starting and last batch of the process got impacted because when you are running a oven oven temperature is you fixed speed of fire you fixed then what happened if you are not able to add one more batch to your oven then product the quantity of product get decrease line get empty then but okay. yes yes Can line balance you can see the line balance yes sir yes this is basic line balancing or uh, you can the continuous line uh, for, for continuous production so yes, mass balancing line balancing everything is interrelated with this every department need to work perfectly yes, to to uh, maintain the consistency and quality of product if if any transportation and supply chain department in the big industry is not able to uh, load or transport the finished good then show floor uh, total show floor stuck stuck with finished good then there is no place to uh, play the fresh good then after that line got disturbed when line got disturbed there is a batch of uh, minimum batch size is in biscuit industry the batch size is more than 300 kg 
but in bread the spare size is near about 100 and 150 kg then first and last batch got impacted then we need to totally discard the batch for for maintaining consistency and quality of product there are different parameters there are different systems like scada is also there plc is also there we need to maintain we need to take the help of our technology also even we have to uh, take care of which variety we are using what is the temperature of oven and what is the mixing time a uh, whole uh, uh, process is a uh, uh, need to be balanced um, if yes, we are yes. baking a uh, variety with higher mass then um, after that we have to uh, uh, move a, a lightweight variant to the oven so other so otherwise uh, sir wo hai na matlab ki क्वालिटी पे इफेक्ट होगा और पेट्रोल जो हमारा फ्यूल यूज हो रहा है उसकी कंजम्पन भी इफेक्ट होती है तो सर ये थोड़ा सा इफ यू कैन ब्रीफ अवर ऑन्टरप्रिनोर्स हाउ लाइन बैलेंसिंग इज इम्पोर्टेंट इन एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ सर एक्चुअली यंग ऑन्टरप्रिनोर्स एंड दे आर जस्ट स्टार्टिंग दे आर बेकरी business so it will be great help if you suggest approximate cost and uh, what is uh, line balancing how a new entrepreneur can uh, set up a line um, with initial uh, intelligence matlab aisa na ho ki baad mein use pata chale ki are mera to cooling tunnel jo hai wo chhota reh gaya ya mera jo kya naam hai oven hai उसका जो साइज है वो छोटा रह गया तो वो ऐसे ये किस तरह से जो हमारे हैं इसको कर सकते हैं कुछ ऐसा आप ब्रीफ कर दीजिए राइट 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 और टेक्नोलॉजी ओके सो बट साइज ऑफ ओवन गेट smaller or bigger size of proof for smaller or bigger when we are installing any line first of all we have to plan the how much production or how much capacity we need suppose uh, we we need a capacity we need to produce 1 ton per day okay 1 ton per day for small industries are not, not talking about large scales if you if you uh, think we we have a, we need a capacity of 5 35 five ton per day then one have what happened so suppose i plan to start a bakery unit now and uh, my agenda is to produce 35 ton per day okay so mm-hmm. how i plan first of all i decide the equipments what type of equipments required as per my described product first of all we need to define what type of product we need what are our intended user what are our target age group now there are three generation there are three generation uh one are having age more than 50 and another is near 30 and uh, 50 and after that uh, below 30 years all all generations are having their own choice first of all we need to target we are going to produce product for which target age group then we we are start uh prepare recipes or product what type of product we need okay we define the this types of product i want to manufacture we want to manufacture a uh, cookies or biscuits or uh, breads or rusk everything so we decide a capacity 35 tons per day then we just do one thing we just managing the capacity of equipments we need to 
buy the equipments and other accessories as per our 35 ton so that there will be no bottleneck you know what is bottleneck okay bottleneck is what uh, suppose in mixing section we are able to mix the 35 ton dough for the 35 ton per day then in oven we are over we are only uh, maintain uh, or produce the product for 30 tons only but our machineries are able to pack 40 tons in that case our oven is our bottleneck and our capacity is defined by the our bottleneck not if we are having capacity of 40 ton, uh, ton for our packaging machine we can pack this is not a capacity capacity is is totally defined by your bottleneck how much your bottleneck can produce in a single day or in a hour okay so if we are having capacity like 40 tons uh, uh, per day in uh, mixing section oven is 30 ton then packing line is 40 ton then we are able to produce only 30 ton then we need to increase the capacity of the our oven so when we are installing new plants we need to define everything properly we need a mixing for 40 to 35 tons we need a oven or proofing for 35 ton we need a baking unit for 35 ton we need packing for 35 ton like that so uh, this is about uh, bottleneck whenever we are going to install new lines the uh, capacity of various machines, various equipments, it should be almost similar. Any other question? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, Dr. Abhijit want to ask again, what is bottleneck? Uh, even though we have installed a capacity of 100 kg per hour at actual the possibility is different we may be able to use 80 to 50 percent of actual capacity of machine that is the question of uh, dr abhijit yes the, the question is very very right question suppose machine running capacity is 100 ton okay uh, no no one machine can give their 100 percent if we say that the our machine is uh, able to produce 100 ton then there will be some losses what types of losses are there sometimes uh, uh, speed losses also there sometimes uh, machines are basically not able to give their 100 percent because sometimes what happened uh, when we are running a line the there are moisture losses also there there are wastage of production also there machine is also not able to run uh, on a defined time we can see that time losses also there and some wears and tears in machines are also there so that we are not able to run at uh, higher speeds these types of uh, factors also impacting uh, the capacity of plant okay sometimes breakdowns also there so the capacity uh, we are uh, what we happen in uh, Cadbury we are uh, uh, calculating OE overall equipment effectiveness but in Nestle we are consider this as a asset intensity asset intensity is basically what the time available for running the plant multiply by quality of product multiply by losses when when we put uh, we can say that uh, 100 kg uh, one batch in our mixer then some uh, uh, ball also get uh, 
sticky and the product got spillage there then moisture loss is also there then uh, there are also wastage in oven and sheeters or in packing units biscuits got broken in uh, machines also uh, some d shapes quality issues also there so these these are the some uh, types of uh, incidents which reduce the capacity of uh, any equipment yes sir sir there is one more question from dr ud chavan stone and brick oven electric oven diesel oven then which one which oven is more suitable for bakery products uh very very good question uh basically what happened like uh, wood wood types of material used in small bakery industries uh, in large large bakery industry what we are using we are using uh, diesel we are using gas so, uh, the fuel is basically we are uh, it it's not uh, about uh, what what types of all use it's about uh, money which is uh, uh, beneficial for us what we what we did we are having a uh, uh, four or uh, five ovens Pure both uh, our five ovens calorific value so i am coming yes. uh, calorific value uh, also we are calculating but uh, there is a price of fuel is also uh, one part when uh, gas become costlier than diesel then we start using diesel and we are having a uh, calculation about calorific value and then we will decide we what we have to start with gas so, but normally gas and diesel both are used in in, in large scale industries okay it's it solely depend upon prices because prices of uh, diesel and gases are variable and uh, changes on daily basis so uh, it's uh, we are having both types of uh, facility in our factory we are using as per the uh, price increase but but uh, gas is most uh, uh, convenient less wastage no pollution uh, you can see that there is no pollution by using gas in your factory your few modes are very clean that time gas is more convenient and uh, good for bakery industry but companies are also using uh, uh, these diesels because uh, to uh, reduce their costs but sir sir sometime while using diesels uh, so, uh, some foul smell or off smell may develop in our product and uh, this will uh, also affect quality of our product as we get more and more consumer complaints that foul smell are coming from the no no. no 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 not like that diesels also not not uh, creating any foul smell because the product is not in direct touch with uh, this uh, diesel gas but these are just uh, when there is some fault come suddenly then we have to ensure all these things actually sir uh, sorry i just want to brief myself that i am also a ex britanian so okay i work there as a i work in a production and i was cp mm -hmm. officer there and i have more than 10 years of experience in britannia okay <clears throat> so uh, what happened uh, you know in our industry for our uh, entrepreneurs or so that uh, our master okay. trainers can brief them that the, these problems are coming in uh, uh, production okay so what happened uh, as you are already uh, a, coming from biscuit industry and you very well know that when we are having a large line there are lots of operators and uh, shift in charge and uh, quality executives are present online they are continuously they are having a system of checking the biscuits every uh, 15 minutes and after uh, half an hour okay if there is any issue uh, they reject the lots uh, i am not uh, yes, uh, yes, yes, aware sir. of what type so yes yes they reject the lot and the whole lot uh, got uh, sent for the incineration 
so for yes, uh, to why why we need to uh, plan these things because we are uh, in every biscuit industry is a uh, very large industry and the volume is very large if but many product is very low God, but yes, profit yes. is very low even a penny matters in bakery well, industry and there is also huge competition in market yes yes yes, yes. if if some small amount of product got rejected it's it's having a cost that's why mm -hmm. no company uh, no, no company required that their, their product got rejected then the uh, operators are also trained shifty charge also trains and their quality is also trained to avoid any quality issues or any uh, any product which is uh, out of standard from our uh, uh, this defined uh, standards so they are planning accordingly sir i think uh, one more question that everyone want to know which type of oven is better for production uh, rotary or swing tray oven uh, for baking bread uh, basically uh, there are three types of oven uh, large scale industries are using mm -hmm. one is a uh, rotary oven swing tray oven third oven is tunnel oven hmm. okay most of the biscuit uh, and the bakery industries are also using tunnel oven but when we are uh, making uh, total whole process automatic then but you sir, can uh, place a tunnel sorry, oven sir, sorry to interrupt tunnel oven. tunnel oven it is used in uh, large enterprises here we are talking about micro enterprises so tunnel okay. oven i think it is for uh, fully automated plant and uh, in which the yes. uh, cost of uh, uh, plant uh, implementation of uh, your plantation is going approx above 5 crore rupees for one line yes yes right uh, here yes, yes, we are yes, talking yes. about micro enterprises so i think uh, we uh, it is uh, better that we can uh, tell them about rotary and swing tray oven. And uh, which one is as better? As per me, uh, rotary, rotary oven is better for a small industry. The swing tray ovens are also costly, costlier. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, also there is some effect on quality? Yes, uh, in rotary oven, uh, what do you feel that uh, you place a... Uh, one uh, trolley inside your rotary oven uh, mm -hmm. what happened the top bottom and middle there is a uneven baking of the product you can face this issue whenever you you will uh, in production of the any bakery product then this is happened uh, due to maybe the less pressure of gas or oil or the uh, heating coil or heating nozzles got blocked or yes, there will be there will be uh, a fan used for the circulation of hot air hot air oven the direction of the air is also uh, not uh, uh, we can say properly maybe the some baffle is got banned or the the area where the air is coming is got a band or the direction of uh, air got change you will you will see this issue when you start baking or uh, install your own facility so keep in mind this point also sir which softwares we are using in bakery Software we are having SCADA. SCADA. SCADA and PLC system. Okay. But but the the selection of any equipment is totally depend upon how much volume you need to produce in a day. If you are having very less volume is 15 kg, 50 kg. 20 kg then the equipments will be different yes, if your yes. size of uh, production is uh, more than 100 then equipment will be different 
so selection of equipment is totally depends upon how much volume you want to produce yes sir any other question from participants 